Good evening and welcome to Lake High School in Division Three. It is regional semifinal night in volleyball. Our matchup tonight, the Fairview Apaches. They come in at 24 and two, the number 10 ranked team in the state of Ohio, and the number four ranked Coldwater Cavaliers, who are 22 and four. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play by safe alongside Mr. Chris Ludholt. Chris, it's a huge matchup, obviously. GMC, Mac, it's a big matchup this evening. It is, and I think we're going to have a good one. First of all, Fairview, this is their first uh, time in the regional tournament, and you can be sure that uh, they want to come out of here with a victory and maybe a trip to the state, uh, to the state championships. Um, they're led with a couple of really good players. Uh, Paige Racisa was player of the year in the Green Meadows Conference. And she's a senior this year, and um, they've got a, a little mix of veterans and freshmen, and I think we're going to see a pretty good Fairview Apache team. On the other side, we have Coldwater. They have been to the regional many times and have been to the state tournament and have state championships. Um, they're led with by uh, Spencer Etzler, sophomore, and Jenna Ligers, a senior, and they've got a lot of weapons and um, I think we're going to see a great match. Well, somewhat interesting, I think. You know, we are in the regional semifinals, and yet each team has just three seniors. Now, they're, they're very good seniors, obviously, but typically you think of a, of a more veteran crew, I guess, when you get to this point. You would expect a, a senior team, a little bit like New Knoxville last year, that had almost all seniors, maybe one underclassman, but that's a, that's a really good point. I think by this time of the season, uh, they've been through a whole season of 22 matches, they both were league champions, so they've played some tough matches, and um, and I think the fact that you're a freshman or another underclassman doesn't matter anymore at this point. Well, one other thing, uh, Chris, for those who have followed Mac Volleyball and our telecast this year, Riley Rissmiller is back and has now played 36 sets. She's a six-footer. She's a strong girl, plays in the middle, and that just adds one more weapon for Coach Etzler. Yeah, six six five actually. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's a, a good... Uh, little boost to the team you know probably 60 percent of the way through you pick up somebody that's uh, a veteran and um, somebody like Riss Miller. Okay we're going to have our officiating crew this evening on the stand tonight our R1 is Bob Blevins. Okay Riss is our on the R2 on the floor our two line judges are Denise Dillsaver and Roger Hefner this evening and we are from Lake High School. Fairview is coached by Allison Cholik, and as uh, Chris said, they have not been to the regionals before, but Chris, they have been in the district six consecutive years, and finally broke through this year with a 3-0 win over Eastwood in the district finals. Well, you just think of those seniors last year that got to the district four times and couldn't get out, but here they are, and I'm sure that they're proud that their former uh, classmates and teammates are here. Here's me and Camp to serve. Coldwater's on the right on your screen. They are wearing black with the orange trim. Fairview in the all-white uniforms with black shorts and a little bit of gold trim. Cross-court pass. This is Aubrey Hammer, and Aubrey Hammer puts the first point away for the Fairview Apaches. Well, Aubrey is honorable mention all Green Meadows Conference. And, and by the way, the Green Meadows Conference has another team playing in the regional tournament tonight in Division Four, and that would be Hicksville. Of course, the Mac has multiple teams still playing as well. A little bit of overpass on the serve, and that's going to be I guess, contacted. Tip. Thought maybe we had a four, but it had to be contacted. That was hit by Paige Rasiksa. And then the cross court kill. Looking to see who hit that I one. I think that was Ligers. Okay. And we are tied at one. Mark, it's hard to track Ligers because she plays so many <laughs> different places. Sometimes she's on the left in the front row, sometimes on the right. And of course, she sets when she gets to the back row and also is in serve receive sometimes. Here is that first team all-conference player, Spencer Etzler, to serve. And missing on the kill attempt was Kelly Kreitz. Kelly is a first team all-conference player in the GMC, and she is a junior. Here's Etzler to serve again. This is going to go cross court to Kreitz and got it in. We're tied at two. Our opening match this evening, the Galleon Tigers went to 23 and two on the season. They defeated the Fairbanks Panthers in four sets. Fairbanks won the opening set and then it was Galleon after that in four closely contested sets this evening as you might expect in district play. That kill attempt was by Wendell and Madison scores. Well, we've had five points so far in the in the in this first set and four of the points are on kills 
Here's Kendra Clooney will serve this ball. She's a senior, one of those three seniors that play for. And she missed long for Coach Mickey Etzler, 3-3. Three, three. And this will service be by Haley Hammer. She's a junior. She has 43 aces this year. Wendell from way out. Actually, that was not Wendell. That was Ligers. And line judge says she hit that one from outside the antenna. Let's see what the call does. Well, while we wait, Mark, Fairview has 281 ace serves, and that's the most that I've seen uh, this year. They have done so in 83 sets played across 26 matches, and our R2 is discussing things with Coach Etzler. Now, the scoreboard says 4-3, but I thought the line judge said that that ball was outside the antenna. Perhaps I misread his signal. Well, I have no idea what the holdup is. Oh, we've got some blood on the court. That is what the holdup is, and I'm not sure who uh, was responsible for that, but Coldwater has uh, been in the state tournament a couple of times. They were there in 1994. They were second in 2017 when they lost to Versailles in five sets. See, we have a, I'm trying to catch the number of the young lady on the side. Well, that's number three. That would be Aubrey Hammer. She's a setter. That they're dealing no, no, with. Nope, nope, she's not a setter. Nope. That's Haley Hammer is the setter, yep. older yep. sister. Well, you know, you talk about that cold water losing to Versailles. How would you like to get to the state tournament <laughs> and find out that you're playing somebody that's down the road in your own conference? That just like we had a year ago with the Knoxville Rangers defeated St. Henry. Did we get the floor cleaned? And I think our uh, line judge is saying we need to take care of some more objects on the floor as we look at this. Another thing we can look at, you know, is this, you talk about being in the regionals for the first time with Fairview. A year ago, they won the state D3 softball tournament. And so they are the defending softball state champions this year. And they're uh, all-conference player of the year in the conference. Paige Rasisa, she was the winning pitcher in both semifinals and the finals. Well, there are probably some other softball players out there, so they've, uh, they've been on the stage before. And we're going to bring a uh, mop crew out to take care of the blood off this one. Yeah, how would you like to be uh, you know, the winning pitcher of the state tournament and your catcher is your sister? <laughs> that uh, happened I bet there some, for Paige. I bet that she throws pretty hard on uh, purpose. <laughs> do, do you think maybe she ever shook off her older sister? <laughs> <laughs> that might have caused a bit of a friction at home. Salina's on a 10-game winning streak. Their last, or Salina, how about that? Coldwater is on a 10-game winning streak. Their last loss was September 27th to Salina. But Fairview, they have not lost since the 10th of September. They were in the Kaleida Pioneer Tournament, and it had their only two losses of the year there. That would be to Liberty Benton and to St. Mary's. And they are on an 18-match winning streak, and during that time, they have lost a total of seven sets. Now Liberty Benton's still playing. They're playing tonight. And uh, St. Mary's lost in the uh, uh, district final. So those are two pretty good teams to lose to. That's in Division Two. That would be Division Two teams as well. That was the Kaleida Pioneer Tournament. I'm trying to figure out why a guy with a plastic bag full of Coke cans is out uh, working on the floor. <laughs> there must have been more blood than I realized from... Uh, <laughs> Aubrey Hammer, a freshman with 109 kills this season. That puts her third on the team. And, of course, when your sister's a setter, you better not mess up. <laughs> so, Well, this is stretched out far longer than I thought. We're going to take a break. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We've cleaned up the blood from Aubrey Hammers. Was that like a, a I'm looking to see what she has tape on. It's on her right fingers, it appears to be, where she had uh, the cut of some type. Either it the, is 4-3 Cavaliers. Yeah, either the pinky or the ring finger, or maybe both. Can't, can't tell from here. Well, now we're checking to make sure everybody is in proper order before we serve. The server will be Jenna Ligers. She has 36 aces on the season. And we are ready to continue this regional semifinal volleyball match.
And I suppose we should point out, Chris, timeout was not charged to either team while we did floor duties. Here's the set by Hammer. And Kreitz got it in. Tied at four. Second kill. She hits it pretty hard, doesn't she, Mark? Well, she's got 440 kills this season in the 83 sets they have played. This will be Kreitz to serve. Set Ligers and push across by Wendell. And they free ball it. Set. Short set in the middle and the kill. Who got to that one? Morgan Blasting game. Oh, go. Okay. She immediately turned her back to me, which yeah. put the uh, R1 between me and her, and I couldn't tell who that was. All right, here's Wendell to serve. Good serve for Madison. Her team leads by one. This will be Rosica. And she has a kill. We're tied at five. Well, each team has four kills already, only, only five points each. So really quick points, and 80% of our points are on kills. Zoe Apple to serve. There's a set. Essler rolls it over. Short set. Tip. That's tipped to the proper front by Nevada Vogelson. That is the first time that Fairview has scored on serve today. And they lead 6-5. Previous five have been side outs. That kill, that was uh, Mia Niekamp. No. No, it was not. She plays for St. Henry. <laughs> that was... It uh, <laughs> would be pretty interesting if she yeah. didn't get a kill, didn't yeah, it? Well, I, I just got one more kill. <laughs> I it think that might have been blasting game. Hey, that serve it, goes long. I think it was um, Mia Kanapke's, I think, who okay, got it. That was, that was, yeah. We're both a little blocked by the yes. R1, so it's, it's a little tough for us to see the uh, cold water hitters. Kerry Zedike with that serve. Here's that slur, just tips it over because she was behind the, was well, not completely behind the 10 foot line. Set again. Etzler. And that's the rolls it across the tape and gets a point. And that's her first kill. We're tied at seven. Each team has scored one point in service. The rest of them have been side outs here early in set one. Here is Mia Niekamp, just a freshman. Kanapke. Kanapke, I've done it again. And what do we got? Somebody in the net? Nope, double contact. Point to Coldwater. These points are really coming quickly. We really haven't had a long point yet. And off a blocker, the point goes to Rasisa. Rasisa. That's her third kill. Tied at eight. This will be Paige to serve. And Wendell played it. Ligers rolled it over. Ooh, nice dig. It was. Kreitz hits that one to the back row. And then kill off a blocker. That was uh, Ligers. That's her third kill. Nobody's been able to string more than a couple of points together throughout the entire opening set. Cavs nine, Apaches eight. Kill will go to Apaches, and they're tied at nine. Chris, not, not many points. Both teams just kind of feeling each other out a little bit right now is my take on it. Well, that could be. They, of course, have not played this year. They sure. might have seen each other in the summer, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I think you're probably right. Back set. That ball by Ligers was tipped out of bounds. It will be a Coldwater Cavalier point. And in the serve will be a Karen Kanapke. Ball's dumped over by the setter, Hammer. Block. Esther just dumps it over. And then Kreitz. Well, I had it blocked by Ligers, and it goes out of bounds. That will be a cold water point. First time anybody's led by two. Good 
There's Kreitz. That's blocked. Liger's got that one. Three blocks already for Coldwater. 12-9 for the Cavaliers. Here's Kanapke to serve again. Good serve. Kreitz just tips it. Esther will set. And then the kill attempt by Ligers, and she missed the sideline. That was a good time to go down line. Uh, most of the hits so far today from both sides have been cross court or middle. Abby Smith will enter. That means that she replaces Carrie Zedike, and to serve will be the setter, Haley Hammer. Good serve from her. The libero, Rachel Schreyer, got a hand on it, but couldn't keep it in play. It's 11-12, Cavs. And Schreyer couldn't get to that one, and good kill. That was uh, Patience McDaniel for tied at 12. And she's got two kills. First time that uh, Fairview has put together three consecutive points. We're tied at 12. Set, tip, and that ends up being a point by Wendell. She just found the open area. And back to serve will be Jenna Ligers. Serve, back set, Masika. And once again, Madison Wendell just tips it to the open area, rolls it across the net, gets a point. She's got three kills. Pretty balanced scoring for both teams. Well, it is. Both teams have uh, four girls with kills, and uh, setters are good, doing a good job of setting it up. Here's Ligers to serve again. Kreitz hits it to Etzler. Liger sets. Wendell tips. I've seen that play before. Yep. And that was a nice dig by Etzler on that hit from Kreitz. That was a hard hit. Wendell's got him looking fastball and giving him the changeup. Here's Ligers. Three-point lead. Rashika hits it over. This time Wendell gives him a good one. And McDaniel misses long. Four consecutive points, and we're going to get a timeout Fairview. First timeout, Cavaliers 16-12. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. Coldwater Cavaliers have scored four consecutive points. That gives them a four-point lead, hence the timeout by Allison Cholek from Fairview. Here's the service again, Ligers. Set, Kreitz. Boom. Yes, sir. Coming out of the timeout, Kelly Kreitz puts one away. And now Kelly will get to serve. 58 aces on the season. Second on the team to Racisa. And that shot goes in from Riley Rissmiller. She gets a big hug from her teammates. Well, it's her first chance to get a kill, and she got it. So now five girls from Coldwater have kills. Well, I can tell you, uh, Chris, uh, you know, we've got no dog in the fight here, but I'd like to see a senior get a chance to play in her senior year. Uh, it's disappointing she missed so much time. I'm glad she got a chance to play. Right, and we had cold water earlier in the year when uh, she wasn't playing, and and I'm sure that was disappointing that, you know, it took her 60%, 70% of the season before she could uh, get on the court. This service will be by Apple. Schreyer had to play that one, and it's going to be free balled over. Short set, Rasisa. Another short set. That one hit was by Blasting Game. That was Hammer. Etzler, and Etzler got it in, going down the line. 
18-13, 18-14, excuse me, Coldwater. Spencer has two kills now. Roll shot over by Rosisa. There's Russ Miller again. Hammer hits, and it got blocked across. I think that was Kendra Clooney got it. She was at the net anyway, although I'm not sure it was going to get over, was it, Chris? Well, it, it, it might have. Yeah, it's pretty close. Morgan Blasting game will serve again. Back set. Chris Miller pushes in and gets a point. And she's got two kills now. 2014 Cavs opening set. It was tied at 12. It's been Cavaliers since then. Kreitz from behind the 10-foot line. She missed the sidelines. And we're going to make it 21-14 now in favor of Coldwater. And attempted serve goes long, makes it an eight-point set. This will also be a timeout by Fairview, this time trailing 22-14. And look, Chris, they do a lot of volleyball tournaments here at Lake. They do some basketball tournaments, football as well. It's a great facility, but they have something really unusual on the scoreboard. I know our home scoreboard it turns up in black and white, but the team who's ahead, their score is in green on the scoreboard. The team is behind. Their score's in red. If it's tied, it's, in, it's a yellow number. It's kind of a unique way to do things. It is. And if a team was ahead the whole time, you might not catch that because this, your team or the, would have the same color the whole time. But you're right. The leading team is in green. Trailing team is in red. And if it's a tie, they're in yellow. They're yeah, it's yellow. very unusual. It's kind of a cool thing to see. I, it is. Well, good run here for the Coldwater Cavaliers. And they have, uh, when it was, again, was tied at 12, and so they put on a 10-2 a run here to take an eight-point lead. And Morgan Blastingame will serve again. Give the setters from uh, Coldwater credit for uh, mixing the ball up and taking that lead. Good serve. Kreitz from behind the 10-foot line. Back set, Riss Miller. That's blocked. Riley Rissmiller got it at the net. Block number five. Well, the net play has certainly picked up in favor of the team wearing black and orange. Well, it puts it hard to get the ball past somebody that's 6'5". Passing game hits. This will go to Aubrey Hammer. No, it did not. It was Kleitz. And she hit it into the net. We are at set point already. Blaston game will serve. Free balled over. Cavs trying to put this set away. Here's Etzler, and she tips, but that's played by Aubrey Hammer, but somebody went across the net uh, line, correct? I think Abby yeah. Smith was across the line. Abby Smith went all the way across the line, and from a 12-12 tie, Coldwater blows it open, and they win the opening set 25-14. Second set coming up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Lake High School. Our scoreboard is presented by Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville in our opening set. Went to the Coldwater Cavaliers, 25-14. Chris, stat numbers. Uh, Coldwater, 14 kills, one ace. They were led in the front row by Ligers with four kills and Wendell with four kills. Fairview, 10 kills, no aces. And uh, the, their big hitters, Kreitz and Racisa, both had three kills. Coldwater did have five blocks for points. They missed two serves. And uh, Fairview did not have any blocks or, or uh, missed serves. It was 12 to 12, and the Cavaliers just stepped on the gas pedal and outscored them 13 to 2 uh, throughout the remaining portion of the set, and their net play was outstanding. Here's Paige Rosisa to serve. And her opening serve will go long, not how Fairview wanted to start set two. 
Nope, but you can get point on a side out, and it won't matter then. One to, if, if, if they can do that, it'll just be one to one, start over again. Here's Spencer Etzler. <laughs> Kelly Kreitz hits it to Etzler. Look at that dig. How wow. That? Wendell tips to the open part of the floor, and she's had a lot of luck with that. One was left handed, I think. Well, that's why you got two hands. Spencer Etzler has 71 aces on the season, but she also has 349 digs this year. And you can see why with the ball she got to just a moment ago. Kelly Kreitz, that's blocked. And again, net play is going the way of the Coldwater Cavaliers. I got fooled on that, Mark. I thought that ball was uh, blocked on the Coldwater side. Etzler. Good serve, deep, back set, tipped across by Aubrey Hammer, and double contact, yep. <laughs> so Fairview's on the board, 3-1 with Aubrey Hammer to serve. And second miss serve. Entering will be Kara Kanapke to serve. And ace for Kara. 5-1. That's her first ace. Only the second ace for uh, Coldwater. Kanapke again. And a second ace in a row. 6-1 Cavaliers. Timeout, Fairview. Coach Allison Kocek, she is looking for her volleyball team right now, and they are being dominated by the Coldwater Cavaliers. Break for us. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Season 18 of the Sports Report. Every Friday night, join Patrick Cameron for a full hour of comprehensive football coverage that's all through the playoffs on WTLW at 10 p.m. on Fridays. Another good serve. That might have been out. Could have been. Be dumped over by Haley Hammer. And then the kill out of the middle by Blasting Game. It got up into the rafters. This will be Apple. And that will get in the rafters as well. That point will go to Fairview. They got something positive coming out of the timeout, and now Haley Hammer will serve. Apple's first kill. Haley is a junior, second team all conference, 841 assists this season in the 83 sets they have played. That kill goes to, who hit that one? Was that? Is that Ligers? I think it was. Yeah, again, I, I apologize. We're blocked a bit here from our viewing angle by the uh, R1 when play is right at the net, particularly on the cold water side. So if we're missing a name or a number, we apologize. This is Ligers to serve, and she gets an ace. Third ace of the set. Yeah, third yeah. ace of the set. All of a sudden, you know, after having just one in the first set, but they had 17 aces in the uh, district semifinals. That was against, against Ottawa Glandorf, Ottawa Glandorf yeah. who, who is a very good serve receive team. That kill goes to Abby Smith. That's, That's her first kill as well. So now six girls from Fairview have kills. Makes it 8 3 as Kelly Kreitz will serve. Another good play by Etzler. Hit by Riss Miller is long. And it's now a doubled up lead of eight to four with Kreitz serving again. Etzler played that one. Big hit out of the middle, but it's played. That's going to be free balled over by Apple, but she hits it long. Unfortunate for her, she's trying to just keep it in play, hit it too long. Well, it's one of those, hey, there's 900 square feet over there. We're just asking you to find one. There's Madison Wendell. And she gets an ace. That's her first ace. Madison, second team call conference player. She had 50 
Uh, aces on the season. She and Morgan Blassingame were second on the year to Etzler. Tip blocked by Riss Miller. Wendell played that one, and Ligers will set. And they free balled over. Ligers again sets. That's played. Good play by Kreitz. Dumped over and a good point in the middle. Good job by Haley Hammer. Catch him by surprise. Well, that was probably the longest point of the night. Very good. And that's a, you know, just a great time to dump that ball over when the, when the point is a real long point. 10-5 as, as uh, Zoe Apple serves. Here's Liger sets. And Rissler tips it. Hammer tried to push that one to an open area. That's blocked, and it fell on the side of Coldwater. Paige Basista. And for the Fairview Apaches, they've cut the lead to four. Apple serves again. Etzler, and not a very good angle for her that time, and she missed trying to go across court. Once again, Zoe Apple will serve. Etzler just roll shots at this time. Quite free ball. Wasn't sure who that was for. Yeah, me either. There's a kill out of the center. I think that was by blasting game. That's her third kill. Morgan gets to serve. A nice little run there by the Patches. They scored uh, five out of seven points to get back into it. Trail by four. And the kill attempt going cross court for the corner by Abby Smith missed. So it's back to a five point lead. 5 11 sophomore is Morgan. Ooh, just missed the back line. That's a third miss serve. Well, we have talked about it many times. You play Mac volleyball, and they're kind of risk reward when it comes to service. They don't mind missing once in a while like that. No, they serve tough. All the teams do. Riss Miller. She hit that one right to Kerry Zedike. Bumped over by Audrey Hammer. Etzler. And that put it away. All three front row players got a kill in that point, and not a kill, a, a spike in that point. Kessler gets the kill, and that's her third. And that's Jenna Liger spreading the ball around, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Morgan Kanapke, Mia Kanapke will serve. And that goes into the net. 13-9. And ace, that will be, is that the first one? That's the first ace for the Apaches. It is. Paige Masisa with that ace. 72 on the season, now 73. Wendell from the back row. Tipped over, and that's going to be a point on the, Haley Hammer in the front row just tips it over. And just, She's got two kills now from the setter position. Well, Haley had 77 of them on the year. Coldwater sees this lead getting away from a bit. They take a timeout. They still lead by two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. <coughs> Out of town or can't get WSN? WSN is now streaming 24-7 on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. A $100 donation allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. Set. Ligers. And they keep it alive, though. Good job. And then missing the sideline. Haley Hammer kept that one alive out of the net. Yeah, when, uh, when this uh, match gets edited, I think we have to have some sound effects on that ball that hit. 
uh, hit the girl in the, right in the head. So I think uh, the editor now, needs to do that. You saw one earlier in the opening match. Hit somebody the head went across the net for a it did for a point. Play that time by Rosisa. And then it goes wide, and Coldwater will get the ball back and lead by two. Five of the last six points have gone the way of a fair view as Spencer Etzler goes to serve. <laughs> Kelly Kreitz. Good hit by Kelly. Well, she has such a big vertical jump, she hits the ball right down. It's her fourth kill. Esther made a diving attempt for it, couldn't keep it in play. Aubrey Hammer, the freshman of the two Hammers, will serve. Now this is one of the rotations where Coldwater has two-person serve receive. Kind of unusual you were, were discussing with me earlier today. Almost everybody uses a three-person serve receive um, just so they can cover the floor, but uh, this has been very successful for Coldwater. That kill goes to Madison Wendell. That's her sixth kill. She leads all players. 15-13. Kanapke will enter to serve. Ace. Another one in this set. That's Kira's third ace. Oop. Yes, third. All in this set. 19 before this evening for the freshman. Back set Kreitz, and her hit goes long. She wants a touch, and nobody has it. Four-point lead, Cavs. Care to serve again. And that's going to be another ace as it dives across the tape. And all of a sudden, the Cavaliers are on a roll, Chris, and, and there's a lot of trouble receiving serve on Fairview side. Yeah, but if I were a cold water coach, I would tell Kira, now don't try to tip it off the net. Don't try to hit the very top of the net again. And if I were a, a Fairview's coach, I would say, hey, listen, we are a very good serve-receive serve team. So get behind the ball, pass it right to Hammer. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. You can search in the App Store or the Android Play Store. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Layfeld Industrial and Welding. You can locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. And right now, the Coldwater Cavaliers have a five-point lead, and they do so with Karen Kanapke serving. Both timeouts now have been used by Fairview. And she cleared the tape by <laughs> several feet. And we got illegal contact. We do. A double yep. contact took place. 19-13. Five consecutive points have gone away of the Cavaliers. Four of them on service by this young lady. Kreitz. Pushed over by Hammer. Set and then to Rosita. Nice pass. This sets by Kanapke and then kill attempt. Here's Apple from behind the 10 foot line. Etzler's able to keep it alive after the play by Kanapke. And straight down it goes. Good point by General Ligers. That's her sixth kill. That was another long point. Well, early in the in the match, in the first set, we had a, a lot of very quick points, but um, recently here we've had quite a few long points. Back set Kreitz and got it in. She does get off the floor well, doesn't she, Chris? Yep, and that's her fifth kill. To serve will be Haley Hammer. Good run by the Cavs to take a six-point lead. See if Fairview's got one more run in them. Lasting game hits. Hammer sets. That hit was by Abby Smith. Back set Wendell. And then Kreitz missed the sideline. 
seems like when she tries to go sideline, Chris, she's either hitting it long or just kind of missing over there and off just a bit. Yeah, she has hit the ball wide a few times. It's in Ligers to serve. Kreitz again. Good play by Schreyer. And Ooh. then killed at the net. Was that Riss Miller? That was uh, number 14, Wendell, I Wendell, believe. Wendell, okay. Or, or no, no, number six, Blasting Game. Blasting Game? Yep, okay. that's her fourth kill. Boy, that landed uh, right on the old blue mark there on uh, whatever that logo is there it's with fly, the it's L. It's a flyer of some kind, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think that's supposed to be a jet, and it's maybe it's just back yeah. from our view. Yeah, we're area. upside down here. Yep. Yeah, there's another ace, and it's a nine-point lead. So once again, it was 13-12 Coldwater. It was 14-13 Coldwater, and then they have been on a run since then, much like in the opening set. Etzler got to that one. Price did not miss that time. That's her sixth kill. 23-15 as Kelly goes to serve. Good backup. Here's Blasting Game. She hits it to Kreitz. It's up in the ceiling. Good play, though. This will be Apple. Liger sets. Good job Ooh. getting to the ball, but not quite able to keep it in play by Abby Smith. That hit was by, I think it was by Blasting Game, I think. And here we are with Coldwater. They are one point away from taking the second set with Madison Wendell to serve. Right from well behind the 10-foot line. Good overspin on that one. Etzler. And Etzler's point will make it a 10-point victory, this time 25-15 as Coldwater takes set two. Back for set three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're ready for set number three here from Lake High School. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies. They have locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. Chris, what kind of stat numbers you have for through our first two sets? Well, for set two, uh, Coldwater had nine kills, led by uh, Morgan Blasting Game with three. And they had five acers, four of them by Kira Kanapke. And uh, they had uh, two missers and one block for a point. For Fairview, they had seven kills led by Kreitz, middle hitter, with three kills. And they had one ace serve, and that was from Paige Recisa. They missed two serves and had one block. Well, Chris, the two sets are nearly identical. We were tied at 12 in the opening set. Coldwater went on a big run to win 25-14. In set two, it was 13-12 Coldwater. They went on a big run and won 25-15. So the, the ability to finish sets really goes with the Cavaliers right now. Well, I think two things. One, serve receive. Um, Coldwater's doing a little bit better job of serve receive than Fairview is. And also, as the match goes on, as the match goes on, I think there's just too many weapons uh, from the Cavaliers. Opening service will be by Mia Kanapke. As Coldwater serves here to begin set three. The winner Good will pass. play the Galleon Tigers on Saturday. That ball is blocked, and the point will go to Fairview. And that's Racisa's fourth kill. And she gets to serve 72 aces for the player of the year in the Green Meadows Conference. That kill goes to Ligers. We're tied at one. She has seven kills now. Mentioned earlier that uh, Fairview has not won a regional before. Chris and I were doing some looking thinking and looking whatever we think the only GMC to play in the state term was Antwerp back in 92 and 93 and they won it in 92 we thought Etzer will serve with a one point lead that kill will go, that block will go to Kendra Clooney well after the kill from Assisa it's been uh Three very quick points for Coldwater. Esler serves again. 
Back set. Hit by Audrey Ham Aubrey Hammer. Wendell hits it this one to Zedike. And then from behind the 10 foot line, Wasisa missed, and it is 4 1 Cavaliers. That's the serve again. Kelly Kreitz. Block. Wendell and uh, Clooney were there. You can give it to whoever you choose. That's block number eight for the Cavaliers. Well, not only have they served well, but their, their play at the net, especially from blocks, have just been outstanding. Essler serves again. Was it touched? It was touched on the hit by Aubrey Hammer. Fairview will get that point, cutting that's, it to 5 2. That's her third kill. Seven girls have kills for the Apaches. And here is Aubrey to serve. Wendell shot rolled over, tipped. Ligers. You know, I think I have an idea of why Jenna Ligers was a first-team All-Conference player. He's pretty good. He finally figured <laughs> that finally out, figured huh? Figured it out. It's it's November. I'm starting to catch on to some of this stuff. Well, I think she's going to the University of Finley. It'll be interesting to see where they play her because she can do so many things. Kreitz, good shot from her. You know, keep giving it to her. That's uh, seven kills for Kelly. Of course, this airs for the first time on Friday evening. Lots of football this weekend. Six total football games on our WSN stations this weekend. Two soccer matches over the weekend and more high school volleyball. Point. That's Ligers again. Kill number nine. We will be in... Uh, Northmont on Saturday. That would be Fort Laramie and New Bremen for a chance to go to the state tournament, and that will air Sunday evening, along with soccer on Sunday evening as well. Kreitz. And she gets a good pass, and she can flat out put it away. That's a nice little play. All the hitters were in front of the setter there, so they had an outside hitter and then a pipe set hitter, which is in between outside and middle, and then a middle hitter. So all those hitters were in front of the setter. I like that play. Here's Patience McDonald, McDaniel in, and Kreitz will serve. Good serve from here. Chris Miller hits it across. I think I called that a pipe set. That's a rip set. And that's that going to be illegally contacted. So for the first time in this set, Fairview scores points back to back. Yeah, the rip set is one that's in between the outside and middle. Blasting game right out of the center. And that's her sixth kill. There's so many weapons. I do. How does Ligers and, and uh, Kanapke decide which ones to use? Here's an ace. Chalk that one up to Madison Wendell. It's her second ace. Nine five. Well, part of that mark is that the, you, you know, they've had literally more than a thousand times to set, and so it it's a difficult question to answer. How do you do that? You just kind of know where your setters are, where your hitters are, um, maybe who hasn't had to set for a while, or um, it, and it comes a, little, a bit instinctively. Apple served. Blasting game. This will be hammer. No, will not be Kreitz. Ligers. And then the kill by Riss Miller. This will be Hammer again. And this time it's blocked. Riss Miller's there. So is Blasting game. The size of the net certainly is impressive. We talked about the regional championship game is here at on Saturday at 2 p.m. The winner then will head on to the state semifinals, and that is Thursday. That's going to be an ace. That will be Thursday, the 10th of November. They play the 6 p.m. match. The four teams they will match up with, one of them comes out of Region 11. Wheelersburg, who is number 12, Frankfurt Adena was 5, South Webster was 13, and Meadowbrook was 7. One of those teams will match up with this region's winner. 
Cody keeps her own shot alive after the block. Etzer rolls it over. Set. Chris Miller. And ball falls on the side of the Fairview Apaches. And the bump set was just a little bit too tight to the net. I thought maybe it was going to go into the antenna. It did not, but the ball did fall on the side of the Apaches. And that big hit, hit by Paige Basisa makes it 12-8. That's her fifth kill. And the state finals are Saturday, November 12th, and the Division Three are, are at 1 p.m. on that day. And I think we well, we have, have a, a yeah, young lady is, is not I think young lady's ill. Oh, oh, I and, see. Uh, she's got her uh, inhaler out, and we're going to try to get uh, that. That is Zoe Apple over there. She's got her inhaler out, and hopefully she is okay. And so we've gotten her out of the match right now. Replaced by Bethany Singer, the DS. Bethany's a junior. She wears number eight. She's in the middle of the floor right now. Chris Miller shot is played by Hammer. This will be Kreitz from behind the 10-foot line. Good save on the overpass. Oh, one hand set. How about that? Sika gets a hit. That's her third kill in this set. Twelve eight as Zedike serves. Quite long that time. It's That's just her third miss serve. Thirteen eight. Here comes Mia Kanapke in to serve. Diving effort by Blastigame to keep it alive, then she hits it over. That can have to runs into a teammate, still gives him a perfect set. Hammer hits it again. Kanapke runs a long way to get that one. Etzler hits. That's quite a good point. It is. And a really nice play by Haley Hammer just to push the ball in the back corner for a point. Very smart. She scored two points now, kills on long, uh, long points, long rallies with uh, dumping the ball over. We often see uh, the setter, that the taller setter's in the front row, and they'll go for a spike attempt, but uh, that kind of lost art pushing the ball in the back corner if we get an ace. That's Racisa's second ace. Racisa will serve again. Trying to get her team back in it. They trail by three in set three. Ryder just pushes it to an open area and gets a point for it. Fourth kill in this set, 10th overall. Spencer Etzler, the sophomore first team All-Mac player. Kreitz, look out. 14-11 on the put away by Kelly Kreitz. And that's her ninth kill, three in each set. Nice job by uh, Bethany Singer coming in off the bench. H handled every ball successfully that came to her. Wendell, how Boop. many times in the uh, first now and third sets has Madison Wendell just tipped in an open area right there? And that one I think was strategic as opposed to uh, a lot of times when the girls tip the ball, that's just, that's the only choice they have. But in that case, it was uh, purely st strategic. It's going to be free balled over, but done so illegally by Kerry Zedike. That became a point of emphasis a couple of years ago, Chris, trying to shoot the ball across. You have to do it legally. Good sure serve. Free ball. Tip. Hammer saved that one. The push again across by Zedike. 
Classic game out of the middle on the short set. 17-10. Kapke to serve. And off a blocker, a point goes to Kelly Kreitz. Double figures now for her and kills. Seems like Coldwater has been extremely balanced. Do they have anybody in double figures? Uh, Ligers has 10. Okay. Here's Haley Hammer to serve. Oh. Oh, illegally? Yeah, her, no, her foot was oh, completely across uh, the line. I could see that one here. I knew she went a long way to get the ball, and sometimes when that happens is when you get those, you know, illegal contact type things. Set. Boston game hit that one. Wendell rolls it over. And Blaster game hits that one, but it's blocked. Wendell hit that one. And trying to go from behind the 10 foot line was Paige Racisa, and that one does not score for her. Yeah, it's another uh, point there in which all three front row players got a chance to swing at the ball. Riley Rissmiller will come in and play in the front row. And Jenna Ligers will serve. Good save by nice. Kreitz. Did they keep it in? Yeah. Good job keeping the ball between the antennas right there. See if Fairview can score on this one. And they do with Kreitz putting it away. Good hustle play by them. That's her fifth kill on this set. There's Kelly Kreitz to serve. Well, a couple points, Mark. They're right back in it. That's correct. Scrambled around to win that one. Ligers will set. Back set, Madison Wendell. Here's Madison to serve. Price had to go down to her knees to get that one. Ooh. Schreyer played that. And on the try to go cross court was Abby Smith. She missed the sideline. It's 20 to 14. Cecil, block, point Rissmiller. Block number nine. Good to see that young lady with a smile on her face. Huh. You know, I saw her kind of setting on some benches earlier in the year, just obviously rooting on for her teammates, but uh, good to see her having some success. And trying to roll that one over was Patience McDaniel, but not successfully. It's 22-14. Now, when the ball's rolling along the net like that, can you jump up and just go <laughs> and push it? Is that legal <laughs> or not? As long as you don't touch okay. it. All right. Just don't touch it. Ace for Wendell. 23-14. That's her third ace tonight. It was 14-11. to 11. If you've seen this movie before, tell me, because they get right in the middle of the set, they just explode. And another ace. Coldwater Cavaliers, a point away from a three-set victory to go to the regional finals. Wendell serves. And keep it alive, they do. Sligers bumps it to the back row. And it's blocked at the net, but it falls on Coldwater's side. The point will go to Fairview. That's Racisa's fourth kill in this set, seventh overall. Here's Bethany Singer in to serve. This will be her first chance to serve tonight. And it went long. And Coldwater will take a 25-15 victory in set number three. Coldwater Cavaliers on the season. They will go to 23-4. They were 8-1, and, and they were... 
co-champions of the Midwest Athletic Conference. Fine season for the Fairview Apaches. They will finish the season at 24-3. and They were 7-0 and champions of the Green Meadows Conference. Coldwater will be back here on Saturday. They will play at 2 p.m. They will play the Galleon Tigers. Galleon is 23-2 and after a four-set victory tonight over Fairbanks. They lost the opening set 25-23. And then won 25-21, 25-23, and 25-19 in set number four. Chris, you got some quick numbers for us? I do. Uh, for Coldwater, they ended up with uh, 31 kills. They were led in that department by Jenna Ligers with 10. And uh, Madison Wendell with 8. Uh, the setters, Kanapke and Ligers, did a great job mixing the ball up tonight. They had 10 ace serves. And four of them were from Kira Kanapke and four by Madison Wendell. Five miss serves and nine blocks. Uh, for the Fairview Apaches, they ended up with 28 kills, uh, two ace serves. They were led in kills by Kelly Kreitz with 11 and Paige Racisa with seven. They did have two ace serves. They missed only four serves, just had one block. Well, Chris, before we get out of here, let's first of all congratulate Fairview. This first time in the school history, a team got to uh, the regionals, and they're going to finish 24-3, and three, undefeated champions of the GMC. They had a good year this year. A great year. And, uh, you know, the GMC was pretty tough this year in their non-league games. There were 44 games over 500. And so just a, a pretty tough conference this year. And uh, just congratulations to uh, the coaching staff, the players, the um, players. Just a couple seniors, so we might see him back next year. A week ago tonight, we were in uh, the Elida Field or the uh, Wapakoneta Gymnasium, and uh, New Bremen had a nice win over the Marion Local Flyers. And after the whole gym was emptied out, I happened to walk out uh, with, with Coach Kramer, and I said, "Diana, can your team play any better?" She hesitated, and she said, "You can always play better." I'm watching Coldwater tonight, wondering, can they play better than they played this evening? I thought they were very good this evening. Well. Um, I kind of agree with Coach Kramer on that because they probably gave up some points here and there, but uh, they served tough. Their serve receive was very good tonight, and, um, and just congratulations to them and good luck to them on Saturday. We want to thank our scoreboard sponsor this evening. That was Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. Our crew tonight, Megan Sherrick, Lexi Waddle here in the gym. Megan's going to take this back to Beatty Road and edit it all together. Well, thank you for watching as well. Coldwater, three-set victory, 25-14, 25-15, 25-15 to move into the regional finals on Saturday. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.